Welcome back to the channel, Moto Shorts here, here with a little bit of car content. So as you can see, this is my 2022 Mustang GT 50 in dark matter gray. This is the newest addition to the channel that you'll be seeing content on here uh, coming soon. So I actually got this car, it's probably been about three 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 four weeks ago um and as you can see there from the uh the tail i got it from bmw of tuscaloosa so i did have to drive a little bit for it had to drive to tuscaloosa alabama um and i picked it up almost brand new it had 400 miles on it when i picked it up and uh, we're sitting right at just crossed 1300 actually as i got here today now i didn't wash the car unfortunately before i uh, came here so it is a little dirty but like I said, 2022 Dark Matter Gray Mustang GT. It's the 50 V8 uh, Gen 3 Coyote motor. It is a fantastic motor. I had a bunch of fun in the car, you know, just in its stock form as it is. Um, with that being said, I already do have a few small things done to it, just mainly to protect it. Um, I have a full ceramic coat done on it, and that's been done by attention to detail tinting in Tupelo, Mississippi. Uh, they are fantastic. They're a great group of guys, you know, veteran owned, uh, just fantastic to work with. They were absolutely awesome. Now, along with them doing the ceramic coat, if you can tell, they also did the window tinting for my side windows as well as the back. And on that, I just got, you know, the legal limit done. I wasn't too concerned with getting anything super dark. I just wanted a little bit of protection and to keep, you know, a lot of the, the UV rays. Now, I did get ceramic window tint as well. But as for things that are going to be coming to the car, let's talk a little bit about that. Um, so currently, I have a few things on order already. Now, obviously, the, the Gen 3 Coyote stock has, you know... 400 and I'd actually have to look up the specs. I'll put them on screen, but 400 X horsepower and you know 400 X foot-pounds of torque um, as it is which is absolutely fantastic uh, but I wanted a little bit more and uh, so I went ahead and ordered a cold air intake as well as a tuner a tune and I've already put a strut tower brace in there but I did also order a K-brace for underneath the car. So hopefully those will be here soon. Now, let's talk a bit about the plans for the car. Um, so barring the cold air intake, tune and tuner and K-brace, um, there's a lot of plans I have for this thing, including uh, I want to eventually, you know, take the horsepower up. Now, obviously the Gen 3 Coyote is a naturally aspirated V8, um, and I'm probably, at least for a while, I'm probably going to keep it naturally aspirated, um, but I do plan on getting, so this has 255s all the way around, front and rear. Uh, I have a new set of tires that I'm ready to get, new wheels and tires. I'm gonna put 305s on the rear, gonna do 275s up front. Yeah, the stock car has no issues uh, running stanced, running 305s on the rear, those will fit just fine. Also, now as you can see, it is a factory quad tip exhaust, and it is the uh, valved adjustable exhaust, obviously, being the, the newer Gen Mustangs. Um, but with that, I do already have a Borla Attack catback planned as well as long tube headers um, after I do long tube headers and the cat back and the tires and whatnot then I'm gonna start adding a little bit more power um, but before I do that I am gonna start with 
some of the smaller things i'm going to change out the plastic coolant tank for a metal coolant overflow uh, coolant expansion tank um, as well as do a few other small things under the hood to uh, make sure the car is ready for a little bit of extra power so